The Spirit of the Knights is a commitment to helping others. Over the years, many men and women have worn the black and gold with pride, but few have embodied the spirit so fully or had as deep an impact as Debbie Phyllis. Debbie was a very sweet and loving person. She dedicated her entire life to other people. She was involved in every aspect of the university. She was involved with the Alumni Association. She was involved in scholarship funds. She was involved in uh, lots of volunteer activities. Anything she could do to give back to UCF. She loved UCF so much. She was always on the go. She was ready to, to meet with students whenever they had questions. She was like a reference point for uh, her area in the College of Health and Public Affairs. Debbie spent countless volunteer hours working with the Alumni Association, Phi Theta Kappa, Lambda Alpha Epsilon, the UCF Police Department, and the Golden Knights Club, where her boundless energy was always an inspiration. A true passion of Debbie's was the UCF Police Department canine program. She was instrumental in its creation through her own fundraising efforts and continued fundraising and volunteering many hours at community outreach events in support of the program. During the work week as an academic advisor, she brought the same loving care and attention to helping students grow and succeed. Debbie bent over backwards for all the students, not only through volunteering with Phi Theta Kappa and some of the other organizations she volunteered through, uh, but as an advisor. I know she was always looking for ways to help students be successful. And if that meant working with different alumni chapters to set up scholarships for students or even fund them herself, I knew that she was going to do that to make sure that the students uh, had means to go to school. Debbie donated close to $40,000 to the university for student scholarships, and her involvement didn't stop there. No one will forget the energy and enthusiasm that she brought to tailgating. Her little Toyota Prius was just filled to the brim with everything you could think of. Tents, chairs, tables, grills. I mean, my gosh, it was, I don't know how that little thing didn't scrape the ground going across the highway to come get me and wake me up at 7 o'clock in the morning for the game. So um, She was the ultimate packer, and she could take the smallest of cars and pack three vehicles worth of supplies in them to come to tailgating and every week we would get here and everybody would be amazed at the amount of material we would take out of her little car. And uh, she had a place for everything and, and everything for its, for its proper place in the car. UCF football games aren't the same without Debbie Phyllis. And there is a clear void in each of the many organizations where she spent so much of her time. But her memory continues to inspire and the black and gold spirit lives forever. It doesn't feel uh, the same. You know, we still love UCF, we still love tailgating, we still love the football program, but we're missing that little piece of drive that Debbie always provided for us. Our challenge now is to just continue that legacy that she set for us and that example and continue to grow and to continue to support UCF and uh, the, uh, the legacy she left behind. <laughs>